Hello survivors and welcome to another The Spell Brigade video. In today's video we are going to be playing hardcore and we are going to be pushing whatever level 5 skill we get. Obviously you guys will know this from the thumbnail or from the title. Uh, but me playing it in live or whatever the case may be. I have absolutely no idea what it is that I'm actually going to be playing. And it's, it's quite fun because... Solar Pulse is really strong. You can see we're able to kill things relative, or at least a decent amount of things quite quickly, even though this is hardcore. Uh, they, they die relatively quickly. We're going to go with the spell cooldown so that we attack even faster. Still need to move a bit, even though, you know, we kill things relatively quickly, just so that we don't take unnecessary damage. And then I don't mind the level either. It doesn't really matter what it is that we get as a skill we should be a-ok -okay. solar pulse will carry us far enough i believe as long as we get the early levels into it maybe a nice damage increase over here and there will really help us more all right uh, we could do hex bomb but do we really want to do a hex bomb Doing hex bomb. The thing with hex bomb is it's really been screwing me over lately. I think for a hex bomb video we'll do a severe. Today we'll do a falling stars, just because falling stars is just really really fun to play with. It's such a strong skill, and the amount of damage it can do is just completely insane. So we should be able to hit all four augments on falling star, and that's just going to make us pop off like there is no tomorrow. So. Hopefully we get the double additional attacks augment and from there we're going to have the best of times with the skill. And then obviously the attacks explode at the end of the lifetime or on hit. So those are what we're looking for. That's only three augments needed. But if we can get to the fourth one where it makes it attack or focus max health enemies. Not max health but the highest health enemies. I think that also increases the amount of damage it does. So... That paired with increased damage as well as reduced cooldown reduction, that's going to be a really, really good one. And then hopefully at level 7 or 14, we can get lightning. I'm just praying we get lightning. Fire and acid works beautifully, but lightning is the crime that we, we are looking for. And uh, I'm very sorry if you're a French viewer and I just like butchered that saying or whatever it is the way that i said it was wrong or i just butchered the way it said <laughs> i'm a <not> french <laughs> oh my goodness another epic cooldown that is fantastic we just need like some epic damage upgrades now as well that would make it even better but i'm very happy with an epic damage we also got the best start to an augment getting the objective for the fungi fungi hey you're a fun guy meant to be a compliment but you're actually calling someone uh, uh, a weed I can't you remember like my brain just went dead with what a fungi is in the world not like a weed there's another word I guess a fungus yeah, fun <laughs> fungus. <laughs> it's called a fungi, fungi. <laughs> it's a fungus. <laughs> All right, so we are nearly there with the next or oh, the end of the objective. Not really worried about XP just yet. More worried about that. And we get it that it goes for the most enemies with the most health. I'm very tempted to re-roll this to get an additional or oh, exploding is actually better okay that was that was a good re-roll i think it was worth the hp as long as none of our things are sacrifices so as long as we don't have to sacrifice anything i think we should be good this run even the ceiling of the rift that one will be quite rough until we are a lot better so maybe as the fourth Fourth augments can be sealing the rift. I think everything else out there, it's going to be a little bit tougher. 
there we i mean not a little bit easier sealing the rift and the sacrifice is probably the two hardest ones on hardcore just because i mean depending on the skills in this case of the skills we have that it's going to be relatively difficult in the beginning but once we get infusions and once we start getting more augments if we get them as the third or fourth objective i think we will be more than okay so we're going to get the increased spell damage. I think that luck we got in the very beginning was actually really good to go for. Because since then we've just had really good luck. So we just got to move this on a little bit. I don't remember. Oh, there was just a lot of XP at the bottom over here that I wanted. Oh, there's a health pot as well. That's actually really cool because we did take quite a decent amount of damage that we didn't have to. And we just need two more levels in it. So even more increased damage. I'm not going to worry about the, ver the Veiled Haste unless it is uh, rare or higher. Or there's nothing better to take. And in this case, we do need the infusions. So I was going to grab the level into the Falling Stars instead. And the next update for the game is in 14 days, which is really exciting. I do believe, like, see here, there's nothing better to take, so we'll take Veil of Haste. Uh, I do believe there is a new character coming, the Star. I believe it will be the Star Mage. And I believe uh, I could be wrong here, but unless there's a new skill being introduced to the game at the same time, the Star Mage should be starting off with Falling Stars. If not, then that's just weird. I originally thought that the last update they did, when they brought out Falling Stars, they would have re released the mage at the same time. But I guess there were some minor details, like animations and things like that, that were still necessary. And here we go, we get Acid or Fire. Oh man, that's that's rough. Uh, guess we'll go Acid for the increased damage. I really wanted Lightning. At least as the first infusion, because that really would have made us not deal more damage. I mean, deal more damage, yes, but also have a more clear. And then with that clear, we would then be able to get more XP faster and so on and so forth. Like if we had the lightning, then I wouldn't have worried about the uh, seal, the rift. So I wouldn't have to worry about any of those objectives. We would be able to do all of them relatively easily. And that's just really unfortunate. Are we going to take Arcane Broadsword over here? It doesn't really matter what we take. It's not going to change what skills we go for. Everything's going into the Falling Stars. So it really doesn't matter. I think going with the Arcane Broadsword is good here because it kind of makes it so it's safer for us to stand around a little bit more. Whereas if we got something like Astral Orb, we would have to worry more about melee range. If that makes sense. All right, we need that dude to just run away from us because the one thing about Falling Stars that it, I don't believe it says it anywhere in the game is that it actually doesn't hit enemies that are near you. So you do have to keep a certain distance away from enemies, otherwise you're not going to be able to hit them with the skill. Okay, over here, it attacks. I, I'm going to see. Let's just. I wonder what happens if we re, if we reroll. Are we going to get the three skills again? Let's see what happens. Yes, we do. We get cast an additional projectile. It did cost us a little bit of life. It is quite risky to do this in hardcore, but we are healthy. We do have all of our revives still. And we had two really easy, quick um objectives over there so i think we could have risked we did risk it we were happy to risk it we even get offensive defense really early in the game over here we're sitting on 80 armor so we're now going to go to 100 percent damage which is going to be really really good for the early game so if we get things that increase our armor now we will take them not uh, obviously the veiled haste over armor in the beginning or at least with common upgrades but if we get armor that is of a higher quality we will be taking it because that's going to obviously translate straight into more damage which of course we want all right we're going to do a, a little move over there to get past no armor unfortunately we could have gone health regen there but of course we get a juicy damage that we want i believe that was rare quality 
I know I just just happened broken you should know what color the bloody upgrade was that you took but it's not that I'm actually concentrating too hard on the upgrade itself more on moving around grabbing XP and having a chat with you guys so I really got to consider just live streaming I think I could talk for hours but it's circumstances all right so we're gonna grab more damage over there that's fantastic So I don't know, do you, do you, let me know down in the comments section if you guys have animals that live with you. We've got uh, bunnies and they live in a cage in the room. Uh, not like a cage, it's more like an open area that's uh, caged off, if that makes sense. So they, they're free roaming, but it is within a confined area, right? And the, they bite the cage sometimes. And the other day I went to the shops and they decided to actually the entire cage off of where it is closed so they opened the enclosure if you, we can say that and well my computer is in the same room as these bunnies so they decided to bat through my mouse cable as well as our fiber box power supply not the power supply the power cable so one we're very lucky that they didn't uh, end up hurting themselves both of our, our beautiful bunnies are still well and alive and but we just had to replace my mouse and our internet cable so uh, that was quite frustrating thank goodness it was just two things and not like something like my computer's power supply or you know my microphone or headset and things like that like things that are like really really expensive because you can get mice that are really cheap you know i don't have a very expensive gaming mouse or anything like that uh, I do use a gaming mouse, but I just use a basic one. I don't need an MMO mouse or any fancy mouse. I just, I've got a Logitech like G201 or something. And it works perfectly fine for my needs. So yeah, let me know if you guys have any weird and wonderful stories about animals that have done things to you. And it's made you want to, you know, maybe put them up for adoption or something. Obviously you can't because, you know, we love these little critters, but <laughs> at that time and moment, you don't love anything, you know? <laughs> All right, we get a legendary Tartan's Fury over here. This is going extremely well. I would like the next augment to be an additional projectile again. And then the last one can be max life targeting or max, yeah, max HP or highest HP targeting. That's the, the best way of saying it. But we get another Bewitched Fungi, which is great. And we'll grab Necro Will. That's just another circular skill. Why not? I do one day have to do a build where it is only the skills that run in a circle. The only issue is I don't believe there are four of them. Uh, there's the Solar Pulse, Necro Will, Arcane Broadswords, and that's it. There isn't a th fourth skill that does like a circular motion. So I don't know, we might have to wait for that to be a future video when they release another skill that has a similar uh, similar way of acting. Maybe one where we throw out like Chakram one day, if that's a possibility. That'd be pretty cool though, imagine throwing Chakram. Kind of like how the Moonerang works, but they go in an arch or a crescent attack pattern. and return to you as well and pierce no yeah piercing obviously but then they also uh, introduce new mechanics like bleed and things like that into it that'd be pretty cool although bleeding isn't really a, a mechanic that we need here could be a new infusion though please lightning no we got acid or gla i'm not going acid ice so I guess we're running Venom over here, it just means we're going to be dealing a lot of damage because we're reducing the, we're increasing the amount of damage that they take. I do like green anyway, so it's not really too big of a problem. And then we didn't get that, so we need to re-roll. And there we go, we cast an additional projectile, fantastic. Did hurt us though, we did have to use another re-roll. So now we need to worry about our life right now. 
But I don't think we have to worry about our love. We are in such a good spot. I mean, this skill makes hardcore feel like it is easy mode. I mean, just look at the meteors raining down on the enemy. I think the noise it makes is a bit hectic though, maybe it needs to be toned down a little bit. Especially when you have three of them going down all the time, it, it can be quite hectic. Luck wise, we're now on 24 luck, so we are going to see a lot of more legendaries and epics, which is fantastic as well. I would like to see more magnets as well because, you know, we've got so much XP all over the place. I think also another thing that I uh, enjoy about Falling Scars is that we get a lot of... Uh, we kill those exploding guys quite far away from us. So things die really far away from us and it, it makes it quite easy for us to walk around and just enjoy the game and have a fun time. We don't have to worry about too much. We don't have a lot of crit, uh, 22%. We're also only on 30, 30 something cooldown. So I would like to see more Veil Hastes. Maybe a legendary one would be good for the 12%. I need more armor because even my own Necro will there hit us hard. Although getting more armor just means we're gonna hit ourselves harder anyway because of dealing more damage as well. We just need joint protection now for 32 free armor. We'll go for the crit chance because we did just get crit damage as well. And we're not really killing anything out of the ordinary into, oh well I guess we were here for a lot of XP. I was going to say we haven't really killed anything too far away for a lot of XP and then I just run around and look at all this beautiful XP laying on the floor here. There's a magnet that should be about two levels of XP that we're going to gain. Increase the crit chance even more. I know we probably don't need the crit chance, but I want it. We also get the legendary spell damage over there. Not a Veil Haste legendary, but a legendary and for Falling Stars, so I'm happy. We're gonna grab XP. We do want to spend as little amount of skills uh, level ups on the other skills. We want them to be at level one. This is all about falling stars and just how much damage it's gonna do. This is gonna be one of those really, really hard damage numbers. Uh, guys, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't. I'm gonna take it, whatever. Whatever, I'm taking it. Now, where is this crab? He's that side. Uh, okay. We're not getting there right now. Oh, actually, we can. Those guys just opened up a, a way for us. Okay, there's another Veil of Haste. I don't think we have enough. Uh, we might have enough HP. I don't know if we do. If we don't get the fourth augment, it's okay. We do have enough life, so we can get it. There we go. It increases our base damage by 15% as well. That is the fourth augment. Let's go find our relic now. We might lose our life, though. But I think we're actually at a point where nothing can kill us. So we're going to go look for the final, or sorry, the second relic now. That should be spawned. We just need to find it. And I mean, look at the freedom we have right now in the round. I do need to just keep my eyes open though, because even though we do have quite a decent amount of freedom, there are still enemies because we are going to be attacking the most life or the max health enemies. And it also doesn't attack enemies right on top of you. So we need to just be a little careful. We are going to the right hand side over here. There's nothing that I can see. Doesn't mean it wasn't there. I just didn't see it. There we go. Oh, that's so good. So it attacked it without us even being there. All right, delayed fate. I mean, it's good, but it's bad. I don't think we need it right now. Do you know what? No, we'll take it. I think we're going to grab some levels anyway. It's free luck. 
Uh, the only thing is I didn't have that much life to re-roll or as much life as I would have liked to to re-roll. So we'll grab the HP regen to, to counter that a little bit. But I would have liked more life, maybe re-rolled once or twice if we could have, but we couldn't. So we stuck with Delayed Fate. We did level up already once. It is, look, it's 10 free XP, I mean free luck. So in the end, it is going to bring us to 36 luck if we get enough levels by the time this is over. So I think if we find a magnet, we should be in a good spot. But otherwise, I don't think we're going to find enough luck to, to warrant this. Also, I would like more cooldown reduction. Again, I think I've said that a few times, but... It just gets insanely OP with a lot of cooldown reduction. Also, I did this last night and I was really hoping I could do it again. And it is beautiful. We did do it again. Uh, the only thing is last night when I was playing this, just messing around in the game, uh, we landed up getting fire and acid. So I'm not getting what I'm looking for in terms of uh, augments or infusions, sorry. I cannot get the lightning for some reason. But the game just doesn't want to give me lightning on our, on our beautiful falling stars. Not the end of the world, as you can see, we still do a ton of damage, but it really would have been good to go for that. And you can see that I, I can see what the two skills are. There was Arkham Broadsword and Necro World again. From the very beginning, we said we're not going to be grabbing those or level ups over there. So as soon as I see something else, we're grabbing it. Uh, I'm going to grab a bit of movement speed over here. We don't need the other, you know, skills. They're just there because they force you to take skills at certain levels. So they like complementary skills, I guess. It helps in the beginning, but by the time we get to here, we don't need it. Even though that's legendary. I'm sorry, guys. We we got to go with the, the falling stars over there. I know I've taken some legendaries for the solar pulse, but there wasn't a falling stars upgrade in that mix. So there we go. There's a good example of that. We'll increase its area of effect. We can't reroll because we've got delayed fate. Now we're just going to keep going and more. We need more XP. There we go. Grab a delayed uh, fa failed haste, a delayed fate. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. The delayed fate of cooldown reduction. The de it's a delayed fate because we're delaying the inevitable of us destroying absolutely everything around us. Okay, that's another level. I don't even know. I, I forgot what level I think we were. I think we were level 38. So one more level and that's the end of that. We are on 34 luck. So we've been very lucky this run with a lot of luck. And we've also been very fortunate with our augments. Although we did have to re-roll. But we did manage to have the right amount of life for all of that and everything. So now that's the final level. We... Uh, do you know what? Let's just do it. Oh, look, it's lightning. Totally what we were looking for. Just the wrong spell. Uh, that's not very clever. That hurts. See, now if we wanted to, we could have re-rolled there, but I am actually happy with the crit. And we might lose a laugh here, ladies and gentlemen. We might actually spend a laugh dying. Would be nice if we didn't, because I can use that as a YouTube, uh, you know, title. <laughs> uh, probably won't. But we could. But I won't. But I should. But I won't. Alright, so we're getting a lot of... Oh, yes, we got a magnet. Oh, boy, that is beautiful. All right, see, so here we can reroll and hope we get a falling star. We're just not getting falling. Oh, gosh. I mean, there's nothing we can do there. You saw I rerolled. That's the best I can do. We're getting levels for the other skills. So we might as well just take them now. It's not like I can keep it at level one any longer. And now the one thing that we need to do, and this is why you don't want to grab 
Uh, I mean, that legendary is a bit stupid at the end, but this is why you don't want to grab ass. Uh, the boss needs to be a certain distance from us. If they're not a specific distance from you, we are not. Good thing I didn't make the title, you know, we don't die because we just died. Um. <laughs> I was mesmerized by the fact that we actually get two broadswords already. Um, we need to keep a specific distance, otherwise the falling stars doesn't actually hit the boss. But you can see, pretty easy. <laughs> I can't believe that happened. Oh man. That's, that's funny. It's very funny that that happened. Increase armor, that is beautiful. That's increased... Oh, do you know what? There's still a relic. Hang on guys, we can't kill the boss yet. Run away from him. There's a joint protection somewhere that we need to get. Okay, it wasn't down there though. Don't see it. Clearly the boss is quite a healthy boy. I should have taken the veil. Ah, oh, there we go. There it is. All right. Guesses, anyone? Guesses? What's happening? What relic are we going to get? Probably something stupid. I'm going to re-roll. <laughs> oh, yes. We did actually get it. So um, <laughs> our damage goes from 171 up to... 229. Beautiful. We should really smack this boss hard now. Okay. And now the Falling Stars is activated on him. And he died a lot quicker than what he was dying before. So that was it. We did a lot of damage over there. 4.9 million damage, 4k DPS. Not as high as I got last night, but we're only level 19. Uh, yesterday I actually got, uh, I think, 5k DPS on it, or even 6.4, I can't remember. But we're also around level 30 with the, the skill. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had a really fun time playing that. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And always remember, keep safe, survivors. Until next time. Cheers.